What's up YouTube? In today's video, I will be showing you how to use iCloud and find my iPhone on Android. I just found this out earlier this week when I decided to press the view desktop mode button on iCloud's website and I guess I can sign in. So for this video, I'll be using Microsoft Edge with desktop mode, but Chrome works too because there is the same button in Chrome. It's actually pretty easy because look see you'll pro you'll you're just gonna get this this um, message but you just have to press the view desktop site and you have used it you can use all the services that show up I'm not sure about mail because then I don't have an iCloud email because I used my outlook to make the account but you can view your photos and all that like I have no iCloud contacts because an Android phone is my daily but everything does work and load I can even track my iPad with find my iPhone I've already tried that you can view your calendar which if you've never signed in on your device you're probably gonna get a Message saying that you signed in on Linux because <laughs> that's what it actually says it, it's that you signed in on Linux because I got an email about that. Well, Android is Linux based, so it does count. So you can view your calendars, create events, and all that. Except with my phone, the bottom part's cut off, as you can see. Because my phone isn't the best if you put it sideways, because then it also has the physical keyboard. I can view all the photos I've took with my iPad as well, which are just all screenshots and downloaded pictures. Like, I can actually view them. Like, if I click... I have to double-click. Or click harder. Or... Oh, yeah, see? I can actually view screenshots I've taken with my iPad. Like, I can view all of them. Like, from the past few days, I can view all of them. And then you can view iCloud Drive as well. If you've never actually tried to open a document, which I will try right away. Look, let me open one of these old tune sheet documents from... When I used to play Racing Rivals, which I can't play it anymore because it shuts down at the end of the month. But can I actually open the document? That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, wait, it downloads it. That's cool. Which I don't, e I don't even need to download it on this phone anyways. Okay, I've checked all of them already. You can use all the stuff on this, but I'm just showing you. I don't know why there's a note in here, but... Can I, can I actually write something on it? Because this is one thing I didn't try was writing anything. Okay, maybe that doesn't work, but... Well, it's because I'm using a desktop site, so maybe that's why it doesn't work. And it is a touchscreen phone, so I can view my reminders... Can I add one? Oh yeah, I can. But it does zoom in a lot. Now I can't get out. <laughs> Probably just have to refresh the page. Because this does happen if you click certain things, it will do that. Actually, I'll just go back to... To iCloud.com again. <laughs> so, not everything works, but I know Find My iPhone does. So let's say you lose your iPhone or Apple device and your friends only have Android, then you can probably borrow their phone to do that. You can, you, I've never actually typed anything in pages, but because it does say that it's not fully compatible if you do it for the first time, but can I actually type anything? Okay, it froze up some stuff. Oh, wait, is it working? Because I notice it doesn't even reload anything. Ok, 
okay, yeah, it's doing that again. Like, not everything works, but probably your results may vary. It probably depends on what device you're using. But, I mean, you can still do all the pages, numbers, and keynote stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure you can view them. I mean, like, if I browse, will that work? Like, I've tried most of it already. So they should work. Like, I've seen a create, so I'd probably be able to view or download pages, numbers, or keynotes. Like, I mean, I this um, method could be usable for me anyways, because then I do have an iPad. So if I do any make anything with pages, numbers, or keynote, then I could use it. And Find Friends works too. I can actually locate this device. See, it actually does locate this phone that I'm using, even though it's not an Android. I mean, iOS device. But I can actually use Find My iPhone, which I have to sign in, so I'll pause that out there. So I have successfully located my iPad, so I can erase it, put it in lost mode, or play sound from here. I can even see the battery level, which looks like it's at 50%, and my iPad over here actually says 51%, so that's true. It says one minute ago, but... But I mean, if I do lose it, I can track it from this phone, no problem. And then you can view your iCloud settings, which is nothing important, because not that many people would be using it. Like, I haven't changed my iCloud settings in a while. I think I already changed anything, but see, you can view your storage. You could view your devices, but you need to be on on Mac, op on Apple operating systems, though, so I cannot view the my devices part. But see, and then you get restore files, restore context, restore calendars and book, and I mean, restore calendars and reminders, restore bookmarks, sign out of all browsers, and manage apps that can look you up. That's what you can do with it. So, I guess this, this is it, so... That is how you use iCloud services and uh, find my iPhone on Android. So please like and subscribe, but you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would be nice if you like and subscribe. So see you next time and peace out.